following nearly two weeks of inactivity due to the shutdown of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory by wildfires, Perseverance drove off in the opposite direction from its planned route. Is it returning to the site of an important discovery? On this episode of Mars Guy. On January 7, JPL issued a red flag warning about high winds because of the heightened risk of wildfires. On that same day on Mars, the Perseverance rover was commanded by a team at JPL to drive to a new location along its path, exploring the rim of Jezero Crater in a place known as Witch Hazel Hill. Here's Mars Guy for scale. In a fortuitous coincidence, or ominous foreshadowing, depending on your point of view, Perseverance observed a distant dust devil, the first one it's seen outside Jezero Crater. About an hour and a half later, a three-frame Dust Devil movie caught another one in action. So it appears that Dust Devils have returned with the arrival of mid-spring in the Northern Hemisphere on Mars. Stay tuned for more at the end of this episode. The next day on Earth, January 8, JPL was shut down and Perseverance returned its last few images before it, too, was effectively shut down until this week. The first new images arrived on January 22, including those showing the robotic arm drill with its abrading bit creating a patch of fresher and smoother rock for the arm-mounted instruments to get a look at. This was a satisfying demonstration that all is well with Perseverance after a nearly two-week hiatus. Two saws later, Perseverance stowed its robotic arm and departed the long-term plan had Perseverance continuing downslope to investigate the banding thought to represent layered rocks that predate Jezero Crater and were uplifted by the impact processes that created it. Instead, Perseverance did a 180 and drove about 138 meters back upslope, returning to the location of its last abrasion spot. Assuming Perseverance didn't leave behind its rock hammer, something I've done on occasion. This about face seems to indicate that the team recognized something here that merited the precious resource of time to drive back. This is the same rock that I showed in episode 196. It appears to have the gravelly texture of an impact type, which is a sedimentary rock produced from crater impact ejecta. This would make it a scientifically valuable sample given that it could contain a grab bag of bits of rock that predate the impact event, some possibly excavated from significant depth. The rock downslope that Perseverance abraded doesn't have the same texture, so maybe the team decided to go back to collect a core sample from this one. This should become apparent in the next sol or two. Meanwhile, Perseverance continues its regular searches for dust devils, One of its 21-frame movies delivered a good show just in time for this episode, a movie that Simeon Schmaus has already processed. This dust devil is fairly close, swirling about three kilometers away, and the vantage point of Perseverance looking down on it from more than 150 meters above is a first. There's also a smaller dust devil that appears to merge with it. And there's another one further back in the scene that's moving in the same direction. But wait, there's more. There's yet another dust devil, this one a tightly swirling column behind a nearby ridge. So that makes three and a half dust devils all caught in the same minute and a half period. Their erratic behavior makes the unexpected drive by Perseverance look much more controlled. 